Yo, what's going on guys, JBH here and today I'm continuing on with this sort of Grand Prix of Indianapolis weekend that I've had going on over the last couple of days. Uh, we started out in the USF 2000 category, then moved up in the Road to Indy ladder to the Indy Pro 2000 category and today it all culminates with the Indy Light Series, which is the sort of final tier before you move up into the Indy car category. Now this is my first time driving the Indy Lights car on R Factor 2. The mod itself was made I think by the United Race Designs team, I believe that's what they're called, or just URD for short. For all the mods I use in my videos, by the way, you can check them down in the link below if you have R Factor 2 and want to drive them and see what they're like. The actual layout of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway that I'm using today for the world well, the road course layout is slightly old it's a 2014 version however the layout actually hasn't changed so it has all the same curbs and whatnot uh, that they would have raced well in last year's uh, race unfortunately the race didn't go ahead this year due to obvious reasons but yeah without any further ado I'm going to jump into a quick qualifying session set the grid and then yeah get underway with this race okay so qualifying is run and done managed to qualify fifth so directly mid-pack uh, lap could have been slightly better but yeah for the most part I think we got pretty good race pace so hopefully we can get a couple positions and work our way to the lead now this race is going to be 15 laps which is half of what it is in the real life race I've got the uh, difficulty set to where was it 110% which is what I usually run 40% uh, AI aggression damage is on max we've got to be careful not to lose that front wing uh, these cars are pretty indestructible though I must admit the sort of modern day open wheel cars uh, on the on the indie car side of things uh, aside from Formula 1 it, they are pretty indestructible alright well without any further ado we'll head on to the grid it is a rolling start of course in the indie light series so we'll just skip through this quickly and get underway Alrighty, here we go. Indeed, lights around the Indianapolis Motor Speedway road course on our factor two. Whoa, that gap is definitely closing. We'll try this side. Let the AI have plenty of space. Oh. Oh, come on, keep it straight. Alright, survived. That's terrible. Alrighty, here we go. Indy Lights on our factor two around the IMS road course. Oh, the gap is closing fast in its opening. Try this side. Three wide into turn one. Oh my god, this is not going to end well. Back in the hell out of this. Oh, let me just drill off the back of them anyway. Oh my god, Joseph, just break earlier. Alright, here we go. Indy lights on our factor two around the IMS road course. Got a good jump. Oh, the gap was closing quicker than it was opening. Try this side. Oh my god, three wide didn't turn one. This is not gonna end well. Back in the hell out of this. Oh. That's one way you're doing it. Oh, check up. Just destroyed that first corner curb. Let's go. Make sure we haven't got any damage. Oh yeah, no. Front wing's gone. Ah, oh, well that was a fail. Alrighty, here we go. Indy lights on our factor two. Around the Indy Motor Speedway road course. Oh, gosh. That gap's closing before it was opening. Before it was opening. This is ridiculous. Alrighty, here we go. Indy Lights on our factor two. Around the Indianapolis Motor Speedway road course. Got a good jump. Gap's closing before it was opening. Let's try this side. Oh my god, three wide into turn one. This isn't gonna end well. Back in the hell out of that. Just oh, check up. So we can nibble this one. Oh, that's Definitely an aggressive move. <sighs> Alrighty, here we go. Indy Lights on our factor two at the Indy Motor Speedway road course. So we can go. Oh, no, that gap's closing. Try this side. Man, we have got some horsepower. Three wide into turn one. Oh, this is not going to end well. Back in the hell out of that. Lock up. No worries. 
loose. Oh, big move. Uh, do not want to be side by side going into the chicane. It's alright, we got him. Oh man, there's some heavy curbs. Right, in that slipstream. Oh man, we got some straight line speed. I'll tell you what. Get both of them. No, 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 no. Start. We gain two spots. Got a Yukos car in front of us. Or at least it looks like one. Uh, this is the apex by about three miles. Damn it. That's right, because we got that Pelfrey power. Let's go. I definitely flatten the wings out for this track. It's probably one of the longest straights in all of the sort of indie lights calendar. seem to have a little bit more straight line speed than the AI, but let's see if we can get a run here. Oh, look at that juicy slipstream. Uh, let's see if we can make it stick. Oh, no, he's outbraked himself, surely. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, he did. Ah, come on. I used to hate that. Be driving and something can get in your eye and you're all of a sudden driving around blinded, you know, one eye open. Sort of flick the visor up, try and get it out, but then you realise you've got gloves on and it doesn't want to come out. So you drive like this like the entire lap. Oh man. I swear a bug just flew in my eye. Anyway. Alright. We've got another run. Oh my god, try and make it stick this time. Gosh, Joseph, come on. Throw some balls. God damn it. AI are just so good under brakes. Oh. That was close. Come on. Alright, and block. Bruh, how are you doing this? Go away. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I have to think I've got a couple of flat spots on the tyres. Need to be more gentle on these Coopers. Coopers? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're Coopers. Lap three. Let's see if we can chase down this leader now that we got ahead of that Yukos car. A little bit of nose damage, so we'll touch a fiberglass on the nose cone and we'll fix that right up. Trainer cars behind us. So, no pit stops in this race. Straight run to the checkered flag. Come on. This guy ahead of us is quick. Goosey goosey. 
Now I have driven this track once before. Uh, that was at a sort of Mazda Road to Indy test day, although that was in the old sort of Pro Mazda car, and I must admit this is a pretty close rendition. All the curbs are pretty much identical for the most part. Especially these flat curbs, you really do feel them. Oh, bug just flying on it. I've got the window open because it's like a thousand degrees in this room with all the lights and computers and shit. And it's like... All these bugs are coming in. Makes it realistic, I suppose. As long as I don't get them in my teeth. I have had that happen before in real life and it was not fun. It's just slowly gapping us. It's about three tenths quicker each lap. A little bit too much curb. She'll be right. About ten laps to go. What's that lap? Sight the side, come on. Got to focus. In fact, fun fact, this was the last track I ever drove on in real life before I hung up the boots. Brought out the sim racing gear. In fact, the uh, last session I drove, <laughs> blew an engine. <laughs> Good way to go out, literally with a bang. Mazda Rotary was a piece of shite in that car. Anyway, just can't make any inroads here. Light them up. We're keeping the gaps to the cars behind us. Not gaining on the guy in front. Got nothing. Consistent. Just not consistently quick. Nothing. 19.5 again. Consistently like two or three tenths slower. We are gapping the guys behind us. Stuck in this bubble of not getting anywhere. That's slightly too deep. Yeah. Uh, stupid mistake. It was a good lap as well. 
Idiota. What we need is this leader to make a mistake. That's what we need. Alright, well, we're just about halfway through. So we've got plenty of time left. Anything can happen. If you have R Factor 2 and you want to check out any of the mods that I use in my videos, they are always in the description below. Definitely would recommend getting this one. This one is a lot of fun. Definitely one of the most realistic handling open wheel mods I've ever driven on R Factor 2. Definitely different. Takes a bit of getting used to, but that was a quick lap. I don't think we made any inroads though. I've I haven't been watching the gap, so it's five seconds now. That last lap was the fastest lap of the race. Down in the yellow, those tyres are getting worn out. It doesn't feel like the grip's going away though. The car's still got plenty of grip. quick lap. Should just about get in the 18s here. So, no, no, 19-1. Alright, in mind. She knows, man. His allergies are killing me. As you go to the supermarket, you sneeze. Everyone thinks you have this bloody virus. So no, I just hate pollen. No issues. Bloody bats. starting to feel the grip go away now. I mean, for a while there, as the fuel came down, the car was getting lighter, we were getting quicker, but I think we've sort of crossed over. we got four laps to go. Looking pretty secure in second. Just think of nothing for this leader. gained half a second over the last couple laps. It's 
weird. I'm sort of using these curbs in this sort of rhythm section like I would use the apron in a stock car. They sort of suck you in, help you get around the corner, get the car rotated between the two. I do actually really like this track. It's so flowing. Once you get in a rhythm, it's really good. I screwed that run up onto the straight there. We're actually gaining a little bit of time, but not enough. Don't got no pace anymore. Give it an all I've got. Nothing left. best part about having a good handling race car it just gives you the ability to be consistent we've been pretty consistent i mean every lap's been in within sort of three to four tenths but last lap not anywhere near enough to get any sort of move done but push on Well, it hasn't been the most of well, most entertaining race out there, but I have enjoyed it. It's a pretty hectic start, but got away with it. It's actually been a pretty decent lap. Alrighty, well, around the last corner, pretty lonely, typical <laughs> Indy Lights race, to be honest, but, uh, yeah, we'll have to concede, take second, four seconds in the end behind the leader, so he actually gained a little bit of time back, but we let him get away too much at the, uh, the beginning, but, yeah, thanks, guys, for tuning in. Stay tuned. We're going to hit up the Indy Car Series tomorrow around here on the Indy GP in that category. And, yeah, hopefully we have somewhat of a similar result. I'll definitely take a second in that uh, IndyCar series on uh, with that IndyCar mod. It's really difficult. 
Uh, yeah, anyway, stay tuned for that. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.